my priceless treasure. God knows me, God hears me, God is my comfort. I am His, and there's nothing better. Forgiven and chosen forever. I am a treasure. Welcome to week two of Treasured. My name is Smalls. And I'm Tarzan. And we're going to start on our tremendous treasure trek with lots of fun stuff. We are ready to feature some of you amazing explorers and see the discoveries that you have made. Here is our very first Spotlight VBS. In today's Totally True Bible Story, we meet a prophet named Samuel. God told Samuel to go to Bethlehem to pick a new king for Israel. So Samuel went to see a man named Jesse. Maybe one of Jesse's kids would be the new king. Samuel thought maybe God would pick Jesse's tallest kid to be king. Or maybe Jesse's best looking kid would be king. Jesse's bendiest kid might make a good king. Or the fastest one. Maybe God wanted a king who could jump high. Or maybe God wanted Jesse's smartest kid as king. But God told Samuel that while people may judge by appearance, God looks at the heart. And looking at the hearts of Jesse's kids, none of them would make a good king for Israel. Except one of Jesse's kids was missing. It was David who was out taking care of the sheep and goats. Samuel asked that David be brought to him. When Samuel saw David, he got a nudge from the Lord. This is the one, God said. Anoint him. Samuel poured oil on David's head and Israel had its next king. God knew David. And guess what? God knows you too. You are treasured. Thanks for participating in our first Spotlight VBS this summer. We are going to do a couple more of those throughout the summer. I've been researching what it takes to be a treasure hunter, like the famous Dr. Diggenstone. 
And guess what? What? You need to know a lot of stuff. Since we're all becoming explorers this week at VBS, I thought we should at least try and test your knowledge about some puzzling, perplexing things. Ooh, I'm sure I already know. But are you really so sure? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so what is this mystery picture? Um, uh, is it, I don't know, is it like some kind of like mushroom or is it like some part of like, it's got like guilt, like is it part of a fish? All right, if you think you know what it is at home, call it out. What do you guys think? Hmm, maybe it's like, the head of like some weird tropical like insect maybe i don't know okay are you ready i'm this, so ready this is a picture of a dun 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 the seeds inside of a bell pepper oh uh, yeah i d i don't really like pepper so i never would have guessed that okay are you ready for another one i am so ready this time i'm sure it's something that i like and i'll know like everything about it Okay, so this time, it's going to be a sound instead of a picture. So make sure you're listening very carefully. Here we go. Hmm. To me, that sounds like tap shoes. Or I, I don't know if any of you know, like a typewriter. What or, do you guys think? Or like your mom's nails clicking on her iPhone. <laughs> like, I don't know. Okay, are you ready? I'm so ready. Let's do this. The sound was a pen clicking. Oh, I should know that because I click my pens like a lot. <laughs> so, okay, I have one more question for you guys, um, for you explorers. So, can you lick your elbow? Probably. All right, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm pretty close. I'm, I'm really so close, close too. I might like pull can my shoulder out. Can you lick your elbow? Well, here's a fun fact. Only one in every 100 people can actually lick their elbow. That's, How, that's crazy. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. I have some other really fun facts. Remember our Bible buddy, Pogo? Yes, he is a poison dart frog who taught us that God knows you. You are right, Tarzan. But did you know that God gave Pogo some powerful protection? The poison from a gold poison dart frog is strong enough to kill 20,000 mice. Wow. Okay. Oh, I have another fun fact about poison dart frogs. <clears throat> In Latin, their family name is Dendrobatidae. I know. Kind of long, huh? Scientists gave us that name because it means one who walks in trees. They don't really walk like people do, but... The frog family spends a lot of time in trees. Pogo reminds us that God knows us. Today we're going to watch our KidVid Cinema story about a boy who knows a lot about Rubik's Cubes. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm 12 years old. So in my family, I have my mom, my dad, and then my two brothers, Eli and Josh. I have a couple pets. Um, I've got my dog, Albert. In my room, my brother keeps his pet, Scruffy. He's a mouse. <laughs> Every day I do uh, my homework, I do my practicing and for piano. On Mondays, I mow the lawn. Thursdays, I do my laundry. And then Fridays, we don't have anything. I have several hobbies. Um, one of them is card collecting. Um, I also love to play baseball. I love board games, um, especially ones that have to do a strategy. I play a couple instruments. Um, I play the piano, I play the French horn, and I play the trumpet. My favorite instrument to play is probably the piano. I really love just hitting the keys um, and plucking out a song. But Sam's favorite hobby is collecting and solving Rubik's Cubes. Rubik's Cubes are puzzles with different colors. The goal is to get all the matching colors to one side. I have 38 Rubik's Cubes right now and um, 27 different kinds. 
I first started solving Rubik's Cubes when um, I got one for my birthday, and um, it took me about um, two days of solid work to figure out how to do it, and a lot of tears, too. <laughs> the real motivation behind learning how to solve it was I wanted to compete with my friend. He, um, he also solves Rubik's Cubes. My fastest time for solving a regular 3x3 three three is 33 seconds. This guy is definitely my hardest one. When you turn it the right way, um, it sh the colors shift, and um, it's pretty difficult to solve. This one is my gear ball, and when you hold it and you turn one side, the gears make you turn the other side too. This one is a shocking cube. When you turn it, um, the right way, it will shock you, um, and <laughs> it's given several of my friends quite a scare. <laughs> I really do enjoy solving them. It doesn't take much to learn how to, you just kind of have to um, be willing to put in the work and the effort to do it. Done. My average time is about 45 seconds. Um, my fastest is usually around 30, 33 seconds maybe. Let's see how fast Sam can solve one today. That's fast. So to solve them, there's patterns. After learning the patterns, it, it really improves my memory. Knowing so much about Rubik's Cubes helps Sam solve them. I know a lot of the history of them, and I know just about everything about them. Um, I know like the inner workings, because I've taken them apart and examined them. Um, I've just, I've focused on them and learned so many things about them, and that's really important in being able to solve them. Did you know that God knows everything about you? In the Bible, in the book of Psalms, it says, Oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. To me, the fact that God knows me is, it's very reassuring because um, I know that whatever happens, it's gonna be the best for me. And um, even if that may not be what I think is the best, um, it just really shows that God is able to do things that may not seem the best, but always work out best. God knows you. You are treasured. Sam knows Rubik's Cubes so well, even what they look like on the inside. The more time we spend doing something, the better we get to know it. Sam studied Rubik's Cubes and knew them inside out. Just like God spent a lot of time getting to know you, you are treasured. Our Bible verse says, Oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. God knows you. We are going to make that Bible verse into a prayer for today. Let's pray. God, thank you for knowing us. We pray for everyone who is struggling right now and pray that you watch over them. We ask for your help to be kind and be loving to others, even when we are upset. We are so treasured. Amen.
Hey, Tarzan, want to hear a joke? Sure. All right, what did Pogo order at McDonald's? I don't know. What did Pogo order at McDonald's? French flies and a diet croak. Ah, all right, all right, I got, I got one, I got one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Diamond. Diamond who? You're diamond me crazy. Ah, oh, okay. Let's get into our activities for today. Okay, get out your package and find week two. There is one activity for everyone to try today. When we make or do something we're proud of or excited about, grown-ups like to take pictures to show it to everyone. Because God knows you, God is very excited about you. So we are going to make a photo frame that we can take some fun pictures with to help us remember how special we are to God. Let's get started. All right, treasure hunters, let's get out that package. And we're going to get the envelope that says week two. So first, we'll get out those papers. The paper clip you don't need anymore. It's just to keep those papers on the envelope. All right, let's see what we have in here. We have a paper. Another strip of paper. And ooh, some fancy stickers. So let's get started with this one. We are also going to need the glue stick that is in your package. Or you can grab the tape, whichever one you would prefer. Tape, glue stick. So we're gonna fold this paper back up. All right, we are making our picture photo frame. So this first strip is going to be going on the top. All right, let's move some of these things out of the way for now. And these other two strips, they should be blue, are going to go on the sides like this. Okay, so this is how our photo frame is going to look to start. So we're gonna take that glue stick or tape, whichever one you prefer, but I'm gonna use the glue for this one, and I'm gonna start gluing underneath where these blue strips would go. Then I can stick that strip of paper on there, press it down really hard so it doesn't come apart. There, that's one. So let's do the other side. and stick it down. All right, so once you have those two strips of paper, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and that's what it will look like. All right, now we're gonna have two sides to our frame, which is kind of cool. But we don't want this paper to open up, so we're also going to glue this paper together. All right, make sure it gets stuck down nice and flat. Push all the sides together so it doesn't come apart. There we go. All right, we're going to move on to our last step for our uh, photo frame. So we're going to just do the ends of our orange strip to go on the top. Just some little glue circles there. And then line it up with those blue strips of paper and stick it on. There, now we have our photo frame that we can use both sides. Now these stickers, you can decorate your photo frame however you want um, by sticking your stickers on having some fun with it. Make sure to flip it over to the other side and decorate the other side as well. You can also get 
some crayons out of your package and write on any little messages or color. You could draw some pictures on the outside, whatever you want. Awesome. So continue to decorate your frame by coloring, using your stickers, your jewels, gems, and everything all around the outside. We would love to see your photo frames that you create. If you can have your grown-up take some pictures and tag us on Facebook or Instagram so we can see. In the at-home activity book for week two, there is a coloring page that goes along with our Bible story that we talked about last week. There is also a memory verse hunt with all the instructions and supplies in your package. And then this one might be a little bit tricky for some people, but there is a treasured VBS crossword puzzle. Now, if you're having trouble, there are pages um, at the back of the book on page 39. There are the answers. So if you need some help, there's also answers for the codes that you could have worked on last week. So if you need some help, this is a great page to find all of the answers. You want to know something cool? None of the... Let's start that again. Even the hard decoders. None of the decoder... Okay, I'm just going to take out the word hard. That makes it confusing. Okay. Sorry. Do you want me to respond after you know something cool? Yes. Okay. I was waiting for it. Never oh, happened yet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I uh, know I didn't write it in. <laughs> you want to know something cool? Always. None of the decoders or crosswords or even all of those what do you know images and sounds could have stumped God. God knows everything and God knows everyone. And God knows you. Even if you keep things bottled up inside, you're not a mystery to God. Next week, we are going to meet a new Bible buddy. Any guesses to what jungle animal you think it will be? Think about it while we sing one last song before we go.
I can't wait until next Sunday for another week of adventure, discovery, and excitement with all of you.